Hi, welcome back. We are going to study using this book for GIS Tutorial 1 for ArcGIS Pro, a platform workbook, first edition. Um, and you go to ISRI and their website to download the data. Uh, click here, and right now my data is still downloading. Once we get uh, downloaded, and we will start with our um, ArcGIS Pro. Cool. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to wait a little bit. So, um, before we getting started, we're going to go over some uh, concept on page four. So, a project file with the extension APRX that contains one or more maps and related items. And we will open the uh, project tutorial one once the data is there. And, and then the project has two maps, healthcare clinics and healthcare clinics 3D, and plus other project items. So a project has a home folder of your choice. So the home folder of tutorial one, uh, which we're gonna uh, install once it's done. Um, let's see. All right, still have 17 minutes left. Um, but we're going to talk about a file geodatabase, which is a folder with the extension geodatabase. Let's see if the uh, instructor version have anything here in the slides. All right, um, and I'm not gonna go over here. So that's the book we just talked about. And this is the ArcGIS Pro um, interface, which we're going to use, but later we're going to interact with um, GeoDatabase. Let me find a picture and see if we have a GeoDatabase. Um, GIS, vector data, raster data. Let's find the GeoDatabase real quick. Okay, database, okay. so. A file geodatabase is a folder with the extension GDB geodatabase that stores one or more feature classes, rasters, and other related files. Although there are uh, there are many other file formats for storing spatial data, ge file uh, geodatabase is a preferred ISRI format. Uh, now a project jack does not store spatial data used to make maps, but instead stores the connection to spatial data such as a file geodatabase that is stored elsewhere on the computer, uh, ArcGIS online on the other location. So uh, for our tutorial one, the data used here in the ge file geodatabase chapter one, geodatabase store in the chapter one tutorial folder in the computer. So once we have the data, we can explore a little bit. And then a feature class is composed of spatial data. It's the basic building block uh, of GIS for storing features uh, that can be geographically displayed on a map. So building blocks, so feature classes have corresponding attribute data for each feature. So um, the geo database has a feature class named FQHC that has point locations for all FQHC in Allegory County along with attribute data including uh, the FQHC name and address. So chapter one dot geodatabase has many more feature classes, one of which is um, municipality, which has boundaries for all municipalities in the county, including the city of Pittsburgh. Yet another feature class is streets, which has center lines for all uh, streets in the county. So um, now I'm going to go back for raster data. So raster data set or raster is the other major type of spatial data for mapping. Quite often a raster is a stalled image made up of pixels, square areas with assigned colors so small that you cannot see them individually until you zoom close in. So in general terms, a raster is a rectangle table with numbers uh, in the cell, the pixels, uh, with with cell reference to geographic coordinates for images, the store numbers corresponds to assigned colors. So a map layer is a feature class. So 
uh, like we have a map layer um, here. Oh, this is rest, um, rasters right here. Um, let's see, geo database, geo database is right here. Uh, feature class, so file geo database is like this. Feature class, we just mentioned about feature class. And then we have a map layer. So map layer, uh, kind of like this. Um, there are, have a lot of um, layers there. So um, a map layer, 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 layer. So um, here we have different kinds of layers. Those are tables. One, two, three, four, five. So five layers. You can see the points and polygons and um, in water. It's not turned on, so it's not showing up here. So a map layer is a feature class or raster as visualizing a map and a map is a composition of map layers overlaying each other. That's GIS. You overlay things together. So and the layers are chosen and symbolized by you to serve the given purposes. It's important to understand that an ArcGIS Pro project is a file that store your maps, but the spatial data feature classes and rasters that comprises map is stored elsewhere on your computer, a local area network or in the cloud on the Internet. So um let's back up to see our data oh still 12 minutes so uh we still got time then we will go over something uh additional videos uh js history we're not gonna go over um and so arc 2 box we will explore along the way uh, that we went through using maps and making maps that's what we're gonna do um and then we were working with a spatial data um, and then performing spatial analysis and managing uh, systems with GIS. So for chapter one, uh, what we're going to do is um, that we have tutorial and I will go over the tutorial, maybe assignments, and then we will go some parts we might go slow and some parts we might go fast and there are five um there are five uh, six 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 parts so the first one is talking about project and then the second part is talking about navigate gis pro and i'm gonna take a close look for our gis pro and just the interface is the same if you are familiar with the previous versions but um and then we will have some tools we're going to use and how to symbolize the maps. And then we will do compare 2D and 3D and publishing maps to ArcGIS online, which I have an account and it's very easy to register. And the last one for tutorial six is use Explorer for ArcGIS on the tablet or smartphone. So last time I did the GIS collector, I still have to uh, make a phone call um, because my ArcGIS collector is not working, but I'm going to download ArcGIS uh, Explorer to my cell phone. So uh, hopefully for the um, cell phone one going to work. Okay, so um, I got the data and let me back up here and where's the data? All right, right here. So I double click on it and I have to install the data. Um, and that's on page five. You go to that and you um, you have to install the data. And for the ArcGIS, you might have to use your account, accounts, uh, get a username and password. Um, and that I think I showed in the previous videos. So now we're going to go to next. And of course, you have to agree and then click next. And then I have to bring my window back. It's in Azure Press. I think wait until everything is done. Now it's right here. And then I'm going to cut and copy paste on my desktop. That's fast. Thank you. Good job. And close this. 
Yes. All right. Finish. I think I have everything. Yep. 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 All right. So now I'm gonna to cut, and then the desktop, and okay, paste. Oh my god, pasting here. Damn. The name might be confused. Uh, is repressed and is repressed again. So I'm gonna rename it. Um. I will call it book data. Okay, so now we have the data and chapter one. Let's get started. Tutorials and tutorial one to one. Okay, that's what we need. And we click open the project. And um, if we don't see it open another project link, we can widen the uh, GIS Pro window. The project opens and display the map healthcare clinics. So, it, oh, it's loading, okay. And which includes 14 symbolized map layers. Uh, wow, 14. So previously, I couldn't see anything, but uh, how do we have a 14? 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think I missed one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14. Um, Simplized map layers. And we can turn layers on and off by selecting and clear the chat box by their name. So this on and off. This is the river. Um, and only one layer is selected. Right now, it, it is population. I'm going to deselect this. Population density. Um, this is population density right now. It's one layer selected and we can select more mo uh, momentary, but if you do not see the content pane and we're going to open the pane in the next step. So this is the content pane, um, and pane and it is open and we're going to close it by click the X bottom and upper right hand side. It's right here. And if we want to view again, uh, it is the contents and we can open the Python, which we did many times. And I think from now on, if I do Python, I might just open um, from ArcGIS Pro. That will be very interesting to work there. So on the view tab in the window, uh, Windows group, which is right here. Uh, we click contents to open the content pane. The contents pane normally docks on the left. Uh, optionally, you can float or uh, any pane. You will open several other pins later in this chapter. So by right clicking the top of the pin and click float or by clicking and drag the top of the pin outwards. So we can right click on it. We can say dock for me or I want to float and you can hide or you can close auto high. Um, and we can just drag it. Um, so I, I like it flow. So I'm a flow person. Um, and I can just resize it. So on the map tab in the navigate group, we're going to click the full uh, map, 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 map back. And this is full extension. So full extension. Um, click the full extension button zooms the map to the full extent of the map in the view. If the view is not ready displayed that way, if the map was zoomed into a small area, we're going to click the full extend button and um, display the entire map. So uh, we will bring it back. So on the project tab, we're going to click save as, navigate to this, uh, then we will save it and we will generally save provided projects this way so that you make a major mistake. You can start again with the original project. So that's what I'm going to do. Save as and so it's already bring it in this folder for me, which is nice. So I would just say Kathy, um, tutorial tutorial uh, chapter one chapter one t1 tutorial one and i'm gonna save it so uh, we're going to add and remove a base map 
So a base map is a layer that helps or um, orient the map user to the location. So 